it's going to be interesting now as we watch Scotty Olsen receiving instructions in his corner to see what the Soviet fighter can do in round two. One would think he might want to get on his bicycle and try to stay out, out of the way of that onslaught, Peter. But on the other hand, Olsen is the kind of guy who presses the attack all the time, never gives you a moment's peace, so it's going to be hard to stay away from him. That's exactly right, but the Russians are very, very cool and calm. They know that their man has the boxing ability to stay away from Olsen, but that the power that Olsen has demonstrated here is obviously going to be the decider in this battle. Scotty Olsen, our national champion in 1987, 86, and 85 here in Canada. So he certainly got his fair fares that right hand again as Karunovic sinks to his knees in the corner. This is the second time he's received the standing eight from the referee, Gord Henry of Scotland. The Russian really got a glancing blow on the side of the head. It wasn't right on the chin, or that would have been a clean knockout. And here Scotty's looking for that right hand. He's just wailing away with that right hand to knock that Russian out. He should drop his right hand to the bottom of the chin. He's aiming at the top of the head, and that's a mistake. Drop his shots towards the neck, and he would, he would get the chin. So many times with a young fighter, Peter, you see the coach try to tell him to throw his blows in such a way that they are not just arm punches, to get the whole body behind it. And if they ever wanted to conduct a clinic on that, they ought to watch Scotty Olsen because he gets every bit of his body into his blows. Well, they've done some testing with Scotty, and he found out that on the Olympic nominees, he's the hardest puncher, pound for pound. <laughs> well, Alexander Karilovich is fighting that out as Olsen comes in once again. Karilovich trying to battle back from the ropes there at ring center now. Karilovic content to stay at long range and throwing sort of a pawing left, trying to keep Olsen at bay. But I don't believe that's going to work very long. That's not Scotty Olsen's style. In with a left jab that lands on the jaw, now working to the body with the left hand as they tie up on the ropes. Gord Henry ordering the break. This is round two in the 48 kilo category. Flight flyweights, 105.6 pounds. The Russian is tiring, Doug. He's slowly losing the, that, uh, that steam he had in the first round now. The gas tank is starting to empty, and Scotty's just looking extremely fit, really confident. There's that right hand and left hook. This is not going to last much longer. Now he's going to the body here and now back upstairs. Karunovic attempting to cover up around his face from those looping left and right hands, and Olsen immediately sensing that, went downstairs and landed one good solid left hook to the ribs, and that'll take the steam out of you as well. That's smart thinking, because you shouldn't just head hunt all the time. You have to go to the body, the hands will come down and then go up to the head, and that's what he's doing. The Russian is really just trying to survive here now. He's just trying to get through this fight. See the Russian showing lateral movement, trying to get out of the way of Scott Olsen's attack, and Olsen pressing and following wherever he goes in the ring. Scott okay. Olsen fighting out of the Cougar Boxing Club, as Peter mentioned, out of Coach Paul Horty. He is a student from Edmonton, Alberta. We're talking about a very experienced Russian here. Uh, this, this, this lad has had 122 bouts and 107 wins, and he is the uh, junior Russian champion. They're bringing him along for the future Olympics, but... Uh, I can tell you right now, he's in against a real Olympian right now, and uh, he, I don't think he should really be in there because Scott is just too much for him. Uh, the next good left hook or right hand may end this fight. Karunovic is taking two standing eight counts in the bout so far, one in the opening round, and a second here in round two. Scotty Olsen trying to measure his man, lands a left, driving Karunovic back against the ropes. Another left hand, two of them to the side of the hand as Karunovic manages to fight his way out of that one. And there is the bell, the end of round two. Scotty Olsen not quite as aggressive, I don't think, in round two as he was in the opener, Peter. But nevertheless, very much his round as we take a look at Karilovic. Karilovic is really uh, uh, weary in that corner right now. He, he even refused the water to try to get that little bit of extra oxygen, oxygen into his, uh, his system. Here's Scotty with another nice right hand right on the button, pushing the Russian back, and then that right hand at the side of the head. It wasn't even on the chin, and the force of it knocked the Russian to the floor. <laughs> well, there he is, Alexander Karilovich, 19 years old, the Soviet junior champion in the light flyweight weight division. And uh, he knows he's been in a battle, and even worse, he's got, he knows he's got three minutes to go if he can last that long. Boy, he's been in a war so far. Well, right now, in his mind right now, he's... Corner's telling him what to do, and all he's saying in his mind is, I'm going to run and survive, because Scotty Olsen is blowing him out of the ring. If it wasn't for his experience, he would have been long gone. 
as mentioned, Peter, we're scoring on the 20-point must system, and uh, wouldn't surprise me at all if Scotty Olsen won each of the opening two rounds by at least two points. Would you agree? Oh, without a doubt. With those uh, clean knockdowns and the good clean blows that he's landing, the Russian is uh, throwing more like powder pup, uh, punches to just keep Scotty off. Uh, Scotty's punches, everyone that landed, were clean and very, very hard. Well, but he throws that left hook. He throws it all the way from third base. Whoa. Gets everything he has into it. Scotty Olsen with 62 bouts as an amateur, 52 of those victories. And uh, listen, I'll tell you, I'd like to see the 10 fellows that have beat him in his amateur career. Oh, he's fought really good international fighters. Uh, his international record is about 50-50 because he's been fighting the best guys in the world. And that's why he's coming along so fast. Uh, hopefully, uh, he'll stick around for a few more years and we'll see this guy really blossom as a great amateur fighter for Canada. And actually, he'll probably be one of the best in the world very, very soon. If he's not... In Seoul. He's 20 years old, so he's certainly got his future ahead of him. Pressing Karolovich once again here in round three of this scheduled three rounder. The Russians learned one thing about Scotty's style right now. He knows that he can punch and sidestep. He's throwing a punch and at the same time sidestepping. So he's not in line for that big punch. And that's a good move on his part. It shows his experience. Scotty should be following up a little bit more with his left hand uh, to counter that and set things up for himself. Well, Scotty not, uh, not pressing things quite as much as he might here in round three. I'm sure he's uh, his corner rather has told him that he's got this fight safely in hand. Uh, he would like, I suspect, to go for the knockout here just to please the crowd in round three. But he knows in the back of his mind that if he simply puts in a solid boxing display, the gold medal here at Canada Cup 88 will be his. They are back at ring center, and you see Karilovich throwing that very weak pawing type left jab and Olsen immediately following in with the left hook. Well, this is very good experience for him, Doug. Uh, taking aside uh, what's online here, he needs this kind of experience against these top international fighters like this Russian is. There's that jab working, which he should have been using. Beautiful right hand, right on the button. The Russian stood up under that, and I'm surprised, because that was right on the chin. Scotty Olsen, here in the latter stages of round three, beginning to press once again, backing his man against the ropes, Karilovic, using the elasticity of the ropes to bounce off and get back to ring center. And his knees buckle as Olsen fires another big right hand. Olsen having things entirely his own way from start to finish in this fight. Started somewhat more slowly here in round three, but is now beginning to press as the clock rings down. Very much Scotty Olsen's fight so far. And Karilovic, you can bet, is going to be glad when he hears the bell to end this one. What's nice to see with Scotty is he is starting to use that left hand. He's learning, oh, uh, beautiful old hand, right hand. The Scottish referee steps in immediately and uses that eight pound. And Scotty goes to the neutral, the neutral corner. The Russian, Kolovic, is hurt, and he even looks like he wants to resign the boat. But too much guts. <laughs> but Karilovic, uh, when referee go ahead and step into a minute for the eight count, registered a look of surprise on his face. As if to say, I'm not hurt, ref. But believe you me, he, uh, he was very appreciative of that. Wes, there is the bell. The end of round three. This bout is over. Scotty Olsen and Alexander Kamilovich receiving a standing ovation here in the late flyway category. We shall return with our decision after we take time out for these messages. the Civic Center in downtown Ottawa, Canada Cup 88 International Boxing Tournament. And we are waiting now for our decision in the 48 kilo class between Canada's Scott Olsen, the Soviet Union's Alexander Karinovich, pretty much of a foregone conclusion here, I think. Here's ring announcer Jean Bernard Rainville.